to watch it burn or to help it survive. Now, regulators think crypto is worth saving, but if you're skeptical like the rest of us, you might want to watch this video. First off, we need to be doing more. So, policymakers are facing a dilemma as the once expanding fields of cryptocurrency and decentralized finance continue to implode, should they let it burn or intervene to fix its now clear flaws? I'm a member of the second team, if you're asking. I think regulators should step in and take action to combat fraud, safeguard investors, and uphold market integrity. You gotta do this in order to maintain the reputation and get the most benefits from blockchain technology. It's really that simple, folks. Okay, maybe not. Following the fall of the FTX empire, dominoes continue to fall. New chaos in the world of cryptocurrency. FTX shocked investors by declaring bankruptcy this week. Genesis Global Capital, a cryptocurrency lender, was the most recent victim, but it won't be the last. This is Sam Bankman Fried. People call him SBF. He's the founder of FTX. He also controlled the crypto hedge fund called Alameda Research, but that's all gone now. Each failure weakens credibility even more, lowers activity and income, and puts pressure on the rest of the sector. Without a lender of last resort, as the U.S. Federal Reserve does for conventional American banks, there's actually very little being done to stop this cycle of rut. It may take some time for new technologies to give rise to new sectors and business practices. Such an approach ignores two crucial factors. One is that the U.S. government frequently takes action to safeguard those who lack the capacity or resources to do so on their own. Why is cryptocurrency any different? Second, making cryptocurrency investments safer would advance a technology that may someday find useful applications. Since new technologies are still in their early stages, it's practically impossible to predict where they'll lead in terms of new sectors and business models. But that in no way means we stand by and watch crypto crash. Legislators and regulators should instead focus on their core responsibilities. Like what, you ask? Well, for starters, ensuring the safety of customer assets and the integrity of markets, mandating that stable coins or tokens with values pegged to fiat currencies are fully backed by safe assets denominated in those currencies, like short-term sovereign debt and central bank reserves, also collaborating with the industry to establish best practices and enforcing those standards both domestically and internationally. But instead, regulators have so far opted for inaction over mistakes. As a result, there are numerous billions of dollars in damages, not to forget that both business and regulatory trusts suffer. So yes, they must take 10 times more initiative. And there's good news on that front. Some countries have shown signs of progress. In an effort to control the dangers associated with the turbulent industry, the British government has released suggestions for regulation of crypto assets. Leave it to the Brits to be one step ahead of you. Now, the industry has had a terrible year, with assets value estimated to have fallen by 75% from its peak of roughly $3 trillion in November 2021. According to ministers, up to 10% of UK adults now hold cryptocurrency. Rather than designing a custom regime, they intend to employ the industry's current regulations. As per the Treasury, this will provide cryptocurrency access to the trust, credibility, and regulatory clarity of the current financial services system. The goal is to level the playing field between established and new financial services by implementing the same risk, same regulatory result principle. Ain't that smart? They're also smart enough to note that some cryptocurrency enterprises may merely decide to carry on doing business in foreign nations, so they can get away with shady business in countries that won't enforce market abuse rules, of course. Some of their measures are to prohibit pump and dump schemes. That's when a person fraudulently inflates the value of a cryptocurrency asset before selling it. They're also looking to put standards for fair and unambiguous advertising on such assets, as well as enhanced data reporting and stricter rules. Hopefully, these measures will boost the advantages while mitigating the most pressing dangers associated with crypto technologies. As an investor, it'd surely give me confidence. It's not that easy, though. Even in 2021, when the cryptocurrency market was thriving, there were numerous requests for regulation. The cries for order have grown louder since the mayhem of 2022. Thanks to all the scandals, hacks, and scams, hundreds of billions of pounds were eliminated from the cryptocurrency market. Businesses and individuals went bankrupt. People lost their entire savings. So, yes, the consumer investors will be happy to see the UK's plan to finally implement tangible initiatives. But I think it won't come easy, especially with various parties participating in the discussion of how to tame the unruly beast of Bitcoin and other digital currencies. After all, the independence of cryptocurrencies from conventional financial networks was one of their initial charms. So a core group of true believers will be furious at any efforts to put some controls in place. Even though 
there's some debate over it, many experts agree that cryptocurrency investors should welcome regulation. For starters, increased regulation will result in greater stability in the famously unstable crypto market. Why wouldn't you want that, huh? We get it. The decentralized structure of digital currencies like Bitcoin, which unlike traditional currencies aren't backed by any organization or government authority, is a huge lure for these anti-regulation crypto aficionados. And according to those, any new regulation would endanger decentralization. But hello, this is a benefit rather than a flaw for you. Also, new regulations will safeguard long-term investors, stop fraud in the crypto systems, and offer clear guidelines so that businesses can develop in the crypto economy. Isn't that what we all want? All you skeptics, hear me out. This is what you're missing out on. Look, clear regulations are still being developed. It's taking time because there's hundreds of tokens and digital currencies. Also, there's so many new businesses and platforms to assist in their storage and trading, as you'd expect, it's left the sector in the dark. But recent discussions on Capitol Hill indicate that the question isn't when there'll be more regulation, but rather if there'll be. At the same time, new crypto law pertaining to taxation was approved by President Biden late last year as part of the $1.2 trillion bipartisan infrastructure agreement. Also, the Federal Reserve is considering launching digital money for the United States. That's a step in the right direction, right? Because there's little oversight in the cryptocurrency sector, it was famously compared to the Wild West. Naturally, a lack of regulations leave a lot of room for market manipulation, fraud, and other dishonest practices. With regulatory guidelines in place, we could see a drop in crypto asset speculation. You know, the thing that makes your money tank out of nowhere? Also, increased investor confidence brought on by less speculative activity may entice additional long-term investors too. Don't you know so many people who have shunned the extremely volatile and speculative crypto sector? Can't blame them. We've all heard one horrifying crypto bro story or end up becoming one of them. All rosy glasses aside, what can we expect from this cryptoverse? What's your best bet? Even if it doesn't attract more people, it might change how they behave and perceive crypto. Long-term responses to regulation from the price-sensitive asset class are difficult to forecast, mainly because they depend on the US government's decision to be more lenient or strict. The fear is real, though, that any additional regulation might trigger irrational investor responses to the markets in the short term, which would only suppress cryptocurrency trade values. To be clear, new regulations will also hinder anyone looking to make quick money. No, Jared, this coin won't take you to the moon. But it's good news for all of us long-term investors. Also, it's great that these moves to revive the market are being made. It's not only being widely adopted as an industry, but we're also steadily stabilizing. Regulation will only stabilize the market further. So there you have it. Cryptocurrency isn't a lost cause, it just needs a few tweaks. See you around.